okay so I'll show you how to use icons in your text what you need is well I've got a canvas and you need a text mesh pro field so go to UI text mesh pro so the first time you do this it will actually ask you to import resources for text mesh pro if it doesn't you can go to window text mesh pro and import tmp essential resources and if you want import tmp examples and extras what that will do is create a folder with the required stuff so once you got that you just need the image of a of an icon that you want to show so i'm using kenny's icons here this is just the mouse left single icon mouse left click so what you need to do is you need to change the texture type to sprite 2d and ui now the thing is that these icons they need to be a power of two so like 32 by 32 64 by 64 once you have done that sprite mode is single because it's just a single sprite and pivot needs to be bottom left so once you have done that just right click on it go create text mesh pro go to sprite asset so make a sprite asset and go to update sprite asset and it detects your icon inside the thing so now in order to use it go to your text mesh pro field and put the sprite asset into the sprite asset field now if you don't want to do this for every single every single text piece you write you can go to edit project settings and then under text mesh pro settings you can put a default sprite asset so it, then you don't have to reference it each time once you have done that uh, in your sprite asset you, s you can see that there's an index and there's a name so you can reference your icon by index or by name so the index is zero and name is mouse left so if we want to use it here we can just go click sprite equals zero or sprite name equals and that's what you get now these icons are not really centered exactly how you want them probably they might not be so what you can do is you can go to the sprite asset go on the glyph table and leave these uh, attributes alone they're fine what you're interested in is bx by ad and scale bx is your offset left and right by is your offset up and down uh, ad is the actual width of the of the icon and scale is the scale so that's basically it now if you want to use more than one icon you need a sprite sheet which is basically it's just what's called all the icons in one in one file so this also has to be a power of two so this is 256 by 128 i think and once you have that imported you need to set the texture type to sprite 2d and ui and now sprite mode is not single anymore it's multiple and you need to install the sprite editor to install the sprite editor go to windows package manager go to package unity registry and search for sprite install the 2d sprite package and then you will get the editor so this is the view in the editor you would go to slice grid by cell size so our icons are each 64 by 64 and our pivot we want it to be bottom left and we'll just slice that so once you've done that you can put oh, we need to create the sprite sheet I mean the asset sprite asset text mesh pro sprite asset and you put that 
sprite asset in here now we can reference the sprite now because you've got multiples of them it would be inconvenient to go and change every single one but there's a global setting here which is your for, uh, offset x offset y uh, the size of it and the scale so you can play with that for every single for the whole set of them still if you need to change individual ones like that space is too small you can go into the individual one and change it so that's it I hope that helps